vibe's been awesome. I think, uh, you know, we had a trial week about six weeks ago and uh, the guys have really gone away and worked hard. You know, uh, we are after you on Saturday and uh, all the boys have met their fitness standards and they're in good condition. So it shows that the boys have put in a lot of work. Uh, it hasn't been ideal, obviously, being winter that uh, not many of them have had access to turf. But uh, thanks to Northern's Cricket and to the High Performance Program, we're able to come here to the COE and play some cricket out uh, in the middle of winter. Yeah, it's a really special feeling. Um, I don't think it's truly sunk in for me yet. I think um, as soon as we get on tour and we start playing in our tour match and, and our first test match, I think it will sit in, uh, sink in for me then. But it's a really special feeling to be chosen to lead this group of, of really talented young cricketers, so I'm looking forward to it a lot. I think I'm one of those captains who, who likes to really take control. I don't like to let things get out of hand in the in the group. If I've got something to say, I'll make sure that the, the message gets across. And I'm the kind of guy who, who will make a message pretty simple so that the guys can follow down on the field. But I think as a captain, I like to talk quite a lot and some players don't enjoy that. But I just feel like from my point of view, it gets my message across a lot better when I speak it in, in, a, different, in a few different ways so that different guys can understand it better. It's been very good. I think all the boys have been training hard. Uh, the coaches have put us through our put us through the ranks. Um, just the intensity, that's the main thing. The intensity's been very high. And I think it's a lot of concentration on the basics and just doing the small things right. I think it's a very good like where we can see where we are as a team and how good we are and how, on what things we need to work on because we're batting against a pretty good bowling attack and we're gonna bowl up against an amazing batting attack in my opinion tomorrow. And so I think the experience we gain from this game is a, is a lot if we win or lose, either way, we get experience, we must just take it and hopefully take that to England and then win the series, yeah. Um, it's quite nice playing against the next level players because actually we want to be in a couple of years and it helps to see where you are with your game, um, if you need to work more or harder and stuff. So yeah, um, but I was happy I played with it. Yeah, a lot of the players haven't had access to playing three-day or four-day cricket and with two four-day games as the start of the tour, it is important that they understand how to play red ball cricket, how to play time cricket and, uh, and that for us is a challenge. You know, most of them have played other 50 over 20 over cricket in their school career. So learning that uh, you've got a lot more time than you think is, is crucial and it's the same with the bowling unit to, to stay patient, to be on your feet for a long time. So we, we've really focused on, uh, on red ball cricket. Well, I don't really have any experience in the longer format, to be quite honest, but I, at least I've played with a couple of guys, Tony Rizzo's in them, that they've played semi-pro cricket, Titans cricket, like four-day cricket. So they, I sponge from them a lot. Like they've told me a lot of things and I've like, just took, took in all those information. And Chris Chris also helped me a lot of it. The only thing like that I adjusted more with the longer format now for the four-day test matches, just bowling a little bit fuller maybe and like, staying more patient because usually you try to search for wicket with the limited overs cricket. So basically just staying patient and like bowling a little bit fuller than you used to and you use your bumper very well. I have played a couple of three days of the academy as well. So I've got my game plan sorted quite well. This game also helped me um, just playing a bit and against the next level players. But yeah, I'll just get batting time as well and the ball is going to move a bit more than it moved today. So yeah, just leading it as late as possible and leading it into the ground and not playing in front of the uh, under your arm. So yeah, that's about that. Yeah, definitely the intensity is raised and coming from school cricket, the bowlers here are way more skillful. I think they're a lot more patient as well. In school cricket, the bowlers tend to bowl a few good balls and then they get impatient and give you that loose one. Right over here, these are semi-pro bowlers. They can they have a lot of patience and they don't mind bowling a certain length for so many overs at a time. We obviously look into to go to England and win the series and win both series, the Test Series and the One Day Series. And uh, to achieve that, we're going to have to play some good cricket. They're in the middle of their season, we're in the middle of winter. But uh, I think the boys have put in their yards to, to go there and be competitive. Yeah, this is one of the best camps I've been to so far. It's been really exciting. The guys, the guys came prepared, everyone's looking strong. And I just think these next three days in camp are going to be really important for us, where we really try and hone in on our skills. Um, but I think the preparation that we've done in the camp bodes well for England and everyone's looking forward to it.